right, you're not gonna believe, you're just not gonna believe the aggravation to try to get down here. I'm just ready to jump ship. This is just bizarre. Um, you know, we drove down in this neighborhood. Uh, there's no parking allowed here, and there are big fines for doing it. Um, I could go around the other way, but they have a rule. Um, and there's parking up there, but, uh, jeez, let's, let, first off, let's go, there's a dog beach. There's a dog beach down here. We're just south of, um, Daytona Beach. Uh, this is called, um, uh, the Ponce de Leon Lighthouse Park and like so many areas uh, along the waterways it's just congested it's just not meant for a 34 foot Fleetwood bounder uh, you know I can manage to get around you know got turned around we're gonna get back out of these roads here but this gate I was gonna go um, it was ten dollars to park take the next right onto Lighthouse Drive and I pulled up to the booth and he says you know what you're longer than 33 feet <laughs> which is kind of funny. I said, yeah, I'm 34 foot. Um, 33 feet they would have allowed me. I'm 34. I'm one foot longer, and he said no. He said no. He says, you... 1,000 feet, turn right onto South Atlantic Avenue. He says, if you can find somewhere to park, you know, so he directed me up this way. He said, if you can find somewhere to park, uh, nothing over there to the left. You know, you could probably you could walk down in but you know all these spaces are taken you know all the limbs all the tree limbs are low they would hit the windshield and the air conditioners we have come the whole way across florida from the gulf uh yeah from the gulf side which is the west side of florida you know several hours over here east was gonna see and do some things but i thought let's just go on over to the coast to go to um a dog beach. And uh, we came all this way, uh, spent a, a good deal on gas. And uh, Take it's the next right onto South Atlantic Avenue. Well, I'm going to cancel that. We're not turning right anymore. Right to the right here is where you go. And there's a pay booth where you take your $10 and checks to see if you're not more than 33 feet long. I'm gonna like I'm gonna really I'm not in the best of moods anyway. I don't know if I'll elaborate on that or not. <laughs> uh, we're gonna get out of here and uh, we'll, we'll check back in in a minute. I think mainly uh, I think a lot of the stuff here is just known as ponds. Yeah, it's the ponds inlet and the ponds this and ponds that. But I think the lighthouse. It must. I think it's just short for. Um, because I'm sure that, the, yeah, the Lighthouse Park is pronounced, is uh, Ponce de Leon. Now, you know me, I don't always pronounce things proper, but uh, I think I got that one right. And how do I know? He said, a buddy I went to school with in uh, Houston, Texas, his name was Roy, Roy Ponce de Leon. So, uh, don't tell me I mispronounced that. I know I got it right. If you think I did, you're wrong. How's that? The Atlantic Ocean is right, is right, hang on a second, look. It's just to our right, but it, on the other side of these houses over here. You know, it's all residential, residential parking, tiny little driveways. There was one opening back there that had, uh, uh, you know, beach parking, but it's, the gate was closed. It says it's closed now because the tides are on their way up, and it's not that big of a there's just not that much room at this particular beach. Uh, when tide comes up, you you have you need to exit. I think Daytona Beach up there. I think there's it's a longer beach and there's room for that. You can park high high up on the further up and uh, so it, the tide doesn't come up quite that far. So a little difference in beaches there. I mean, I'd like to find. Uh, man, surely we can find some little parking lot that just take even a. A little gander at the Atlantic Ocean while we're 
right here. I just had the worst day. I, oh boy. Nah, I just, I just, I'm not gonna, probably shouldn't get into that. Um, you know, I'm just ready to pull the plug and, I, I, I'll just go for it. I'm ready to pull the plug and leave Florida. I'm sure Floridians probably say, hey, don't let the door hit you on the way out. Um, it's all it's all me. It's all in my head, though. Nothing wrong with Florida. Florida hasn't done anything to me. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a beautiful place. Uh, it's, it's, it's just me and my, my head. So, but, uh, yeah. It was a, I had an experience of frustra a frustration level, but a um, couple things, three in a row, that's four, you know, four for four. Now I'm batting 0 oh and 4, right? I don't know. All right, I think we're up here to uh, Daytona. Actually, this is Daytona Beach. And uh, yeah, where all the hotels and uh, restaurants are. Oh, there's a, a, a bank that was closed. I could have maybe parked in the bank parking lot. Took a walk over through town. You know, leaving Bella behind, of course. Uh, no dogs on these beaches up here. Yeah, and that was, okay, so I said I'm 0 for 4, right? Well, the last one, the 0 for 3, uh, found this beach. In 1,000 feet, use the left two lanes to turn left onto Florida 421 West and Martin Boulevard. I could get the bounder to it. And parking was half the price, only five dollars. But I, you know, I investigated using uh, the Google Google Maps and Street View, and uh, I'm glad I did. I did save a little bit of gas doing that. The uh, use the left two lanes to turn left onto Florida 421 West and Martin Boulevard. I zoomed in, and there was a uh, no pets. <laughs> uh, so there. The beach I did have access to, no pets. In the pet beach, um, I didn't have access to. But, uh, yeah. So that just kind of adds, you know, I had a little frustration already going on and uh, for something else that's going kind of been on my mind. And, and uh, you know, this uh, little bit of trip planning and sightseeing uh, crap ain't going very well for me. All right, they do have that. Uh, vehicle access to the beach here too i guess i was wrong they have that blocked off with some vehicles there uh some beach safety vehicles i think i've chased everybody out so uh yeah they close this one when the tide's coming in as well huh continue on florida 421 west all right i think we gotta yeah there's a place down here we can uh, take a break uh, see some water. This is uh, the section of water. I, I forget what they call it. Uh, uh, but it's a section of water that separates the, the peninsula from the mainland. Uh, let's go up this one here. Yes. Yes. Let's go this way. I know there's a, it's a big, either way, there's a boat ramp down that way, so there's always... 1,000 feet, turn right onto Florida 421 Oops. East, Florida A1A North. Oops. I know I could have uh, parked back the boat launch one. Oh, oh, and there's a second boat launch, I guess. We're just additional parking. So, let's go, where are we going? Let's go... Have brought my better camera. There's a uh, what do you call these birds? Huh? 
I don't seem too bothered by Bella being right here. Yeah, I can take a picture of him with my phone better. So, so we might take a little walk around here and just breathe. Remember to breathe, Dave. <laughs> I'm gonna have to say that uh, Bella is a service animal. Third one from the bottom. No pets except service animals for the disabled. So uh, we're gonna make short work of this here. And we're we'll probably just gonna head back to the bounder right now. Uh, I like the one, the very last one on the bottom. Do not teach trash to swim. <laughs> that's that's pretty good. So yeah, there's that. And uh, I got some couple um, things here about the you know Port Orange Critical Wildlife Area. Uh, can, you know, pause and read that if you want. And too, this is a slow zone, like a, a no wake area. Uh, oh, they do have to think about the uh, wells, uh, the wells here. But besides the wells, there's also a, uh, a thing over here that says, uh, you know, this the regulatory zone in, in the area of the boat ramp is uh, a manatee zone, uh, slow speed minimum minimum wake. Uh, that fellow's poodle or whatever it is must be a uh, a service dog oh, I don't know you know what do you do rules are rules but uh Bill was so much love to go swimming in there uh, might not be a good idea remember where we are there could be a big old gator hiding in there huh say we don't like gators uh, at least not near Bella. Hi, girl. So I've had this uh, kind of a vague haunting memory. I don't know if I should tell you about it or not. It has to do with Florida. Way back in the day, maybe I've had this thing for Florida just all over an old memory and I don't know why but it's like when I get to Florida and more so this time than any I remember uh, it just gets on my mind and what was going on at that time and, and why why am I remembering this now and you know you ever been somewhere and you um, maybe had a bad experience and you blamed it on the and you blamed it on the area when it has nothing to do with the area itself right you know if there had been a bad, bad memory in you know Oklahoma or Utah you know, it's like saying oh I hate Utah <laughs> or Oklahoma it has nothing to do with Florida but it's just a weird feeling you get when you know when you uh, I don't know I'm sure some of you are maybe I'm crazy you know uh but there's something that, some trip to Florida way back when I was like, I think, I think 11 or 12 years old. We went to Disneyland and Disney World. And maybe I won't bore you with that. I do remember a bunch of us loaded in the car, three adults and three kids in a, like a 1974 Plymouth Fury drive from Pennsylvania to uh, Florida down to Orlando and um, but that's not the way I remembered it now go get some water go on go get, go get waters go on go on go get water and I thought there had to have been a second trip for a different purpose I remember driving long drive I'm sure it was the Florida I'm thinking maybe Texas, but I'm pretty sure it was Florida. And I don't know where the rest of my family was, but I drove, but I had to ride with my, my uncle, my creepy uncle. No, I'm just kidding. He was not creepy. Very nice guy. Um, nothing, nothing goofy went on. Uh, if, you know, if you're anybody's mind should go in that direction. Um, no, great, uh, great guy. Just kind and, and um, just a nice guy. But for some reason we rode down in his 
Uh, coincidentally, I think it was a 1974, maybe a 3, no, 1976. Volkswagen Bug. Same thing, Pennsylvania down to, you know, a couple day trip. And I just, and he was a quiet guy, and we, we really, you know, he's older, and pretty old, and I'm like, we have nothing in common, you know. Um, he was a newly, relatively newly, actually, step uncle, so we really didn't have any family history or even less in common because of that. So, and I just remember this feeling of, all I can remember about that is this feeling of, um, like, where's the rest of my family? And why, why am I not with them? Did they fly? And yeah, I, it's just this weird sense of being left out of something. Like they got to fly and because my uncle was driving that way anyway, I could just ride with him and, you know, the family could save a couple dollars on an airfare or something. So I would catch up to the family later. Like I was left behind. Yeah, it's just, it's just weird, you know, it just was not a pleasant trip at all. I don't like the trap. I know that. And and I just have a weird feeling from it. And I just don't... Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's just not the way it happened. Maybe we went... Maybe maybe there was good reason that I rode with my uncle. But I just don't have that feeling that I did. That there was. That I... Somehow the family was doing something else. And yeah, I was left behind. And I don't know why. So... And I know it was... I know it was Florida. And even the trip... the. You know, my sister reminded me when she said, oh, no, we all, six of us went down in that, um, in my stepfather's car. And I, I'm like, oh, I do remember that. So, um, but still, that wasn't a pleasant trip, let me tell you. And uh, I remember getting to the Disney World, and I remember going through, you know, getting in the, in the entrance, and um, going in the main part, like I call, I think I call that Main Street, and just being taken back, like, wow, check this place, that was really cool. Um, and that's like the only thing I remember of Disney World. I have no other recollection or, or, or memories of Disney World, just the entrance. And I was like 12, so I mean, I should have remembered probably a lot about it, but I don't. I don't. And a trip back wasn't no fun. So, <laughs> I don't know. So maybe that's stuck in my mind. Like, you know, going to Florida has been unpleasant experiences, and uh, somehow that's. What, what should that have anything to do with today when I'm under control of the trip? You know, I'm driving. Um, and in luxury, you know. Um, you know, class A motorhome with, and we can just go and you know, on our own schedule and we have you know, all the comforts of home and, you know, it just doesn't make any sense that that, that feeling lingers and it's kind of stuck. But I just, I'm just, uh, I just have not been happy the last couple of days. I've been frustrated and, um, you know, just a couple other things added on to that feeling. It's just, I'm not having a good time right now. I'm ready to, you know, I'm ready to, you know, I've called a couple of family members say, hey, you remember back when? Like, I've, I've called three family members. Um, I got them just scratching their heads like, yeah, why would have you gone on that trip with your uncle? And where, what was that all about? And where was you? Anyway, some head scratch going on and some photo searches some old shoe boxes old photos like what all did we do back in the day and why would have that happened so I'm, I'm investigating it um but in the meantime yeah i'm ready to like just say you know what i've spent enough brain energy on that you know that stuff is a them kind of memories is the stuff that um you know you know the places in your brain where the spider webs and the jello reside <laughs> that's where that that's where that comes out of and uh i don't know so, but for now, I'm like, you know, it's just got me. I've just, I've had it. I, I got to move on. Um, I'm gonna, and I'm actually, I'm, I got something else in mind too. I might just leave Florida anyway. Um, I'll figure it out some other day. Maybe I'll get to the bottom of it. But uh, here, my sister's having Thanksgiving. I think like a week early, which suits me. I'm probably gonna circle back around over to the golf side and uh, have Thanksgiving with them a week early. And I might just. You know, go out to where my, you know, I got friends out in, uh, out in the southwest. You know, uh, you know, I'd like to see them. You know, probably that's drive around, and find you know stuff to do, and you had nobody to do it with, and uh, um, so I have a friend, you know, in the Jacksonville area, a new friend, but she recently, um, 
give up on RVing and rented an apartment and a, is selling her RV. So so much for camping and traveling and possibly you know traveling together and camping and stuff. So so that heck with RVing. I'm done. Didn't work out. And then other friends that were here, some of you don't know well, they were going to do Florida this year. And then somebody to run into or travel with uh, here and there. Um, but they had a death in the family in Southern California. So um, they've gone, they took off a couple, uh, you know, a week or two ago and headed back over to that part of the country. So, so they're not going to go the whole way over and the whole way back. They're just going to go ahead and stay in the Southwest this year. And who else? Uh, another couple I know, well, I know half of the couple uh, met. And um, nice enough people, but uh, probably zero in common. And uh, when they're back here in Florida, I think they rent a spot, a mobile uh, RV spot by the month. So it's like, okay, we're home. You know, pull in and put the keys away somewhere where we won't forget where they're at. But I don't think they do a whole lot of traveling uh, right now this time of year. But uh, there's just nothing in common. They're nice people, but um, we, you know, nothing in common really. But I was going to stop by and say hello to them to have lunch or something. But I don't even know if I'm going to do that. How long have I rambled on now? Uh, all right, so I don't know. Uh, I don't know what else we're gonna do. I'm I'm just uh, kind of feeling a little deflated, and you know, I just am. <laughs> Snap out of it, Dave. <laughs> there's cool things to do and see. Oh, there's a shipwreck museum. It was well, a couple of them. I might do that. That was you know I thought, said I'd find. There's gonna be cool stuff that interests me, right? There is. Uh, will I do it? Will I spend the gas to go there? there, there? But I don't know if it's in a congested. Oh, the one is. I don't know if I can get the bounder in there. And anyway, that's uh, blah blah blah. Um, we'll see what comes up next. That's enough for now. Thanks for listening. I'll see you next time. Maybe we we'll end up something brighter. <laughs> and I've got over this. All right, I'll see ya. Mm -hmm.